Scooby-Doo has no integrity? I'm in Salad and I saw a big top Scooby-Doo. It is directed by Ben Jones. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The Scooby gang wants a vacation. And what good place to vacation other than Atlantic City that there's a circus there. And first of all, there's already more fleshing out of Scooby and Shaggy in this movie than any other movie that I've seen. We got a bickering in the van. The mystery machine, what? That's cool. I like how they meet some live animals and it teaches me a little bit about the circus that actually it was a few bad apples that ruined the entire circus. I like seeing the tamed animals in the circus and the circus guy being like, yo, check this out. Look at them boys, they're tamed. They like being here, but uh-oh, a bunch of people don't like me having these animals because they think it's animal abuse. And I'm like, hey, I never considered that perspective, but this movie made me change my mind. They enroll into the circus. They are now circus performers and all of the humans suck, but Scooby-Doo is great. He does a little bounce on the ball. He even does a little juggling. He eats fire. And you know who gets the credit? Shaggy. Like, what did you say? This movie follows Scooby and Shaggy's relationship. Shaggy's taking all the credit, getting all the ladies, and Scooby-Doo is just sitting there. Although I think this movie is very unrealistic because women would be all over that dog, and not Shaggy, because it's a dog, man. Dogs are so cute. I love dogs so much. I would honestly talk to a dog over just a guy any day of the week. This movie shows that Scooby-Doo has a brain, the gang recognizes him as an equal and he is allowed to make his own decisions and he won't do the act with Shaggy again. He won't even do it for like three Scooby Snacks. It takes like 300 pounds of Scooby Snacks to really convince Scooby to do this thing. But I honestly wish they fleshed this out even more. I know they had to keep the plot going along and that's why Scooby-Doo is going to accept all those Scooby snacks. But I really want to know more about Scooby-Doo's integrity as a character. Scooby-Doo has no integrity? Let me know in the comments. That has to be my favorite part of this movie and why I remember it so well. I know there's werewolves terrorizing the circus, but more people more business is coming in and I'm very suspecting of that because it's like why are you celebrating werewolves yeah I know people are here and your business is dying and I understand why you have such an incentive to keep the business going because money is flowing in and makes me suspect that it's actually you you doing the deed, dang it, you're causing all this terrorism, all these werewolves that show up and appear out of nowhere, what are you doing? Of course they get caught for their deeds, not before we have the Shaggy and Scooby in a motorcycle ball. They're driving in a motorcycle ball, that was cool. I do think this is my fan canon, that this is a continuation of the last movie, where Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are on a side plot where Shaggy learns how to do motorcycle and then has to do a motorcycle race. So it's in the continuous of that movie. Legend of the Phantasaurus. Check out my review for that too. Anyway, they get caught. Wow, it's who knew it would be a guy related to the circus. Oh no, ah no. I felt it was predictable. I just really like this movie for fleshing out the characters of Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and a little bit of Daphne and Fred and Velma, but not that much. I just want more character development. I've seen them so much. I've seen so many of their movies. This is 2012. Their first movie was like in the 80s or something, right? I like the progress of the Scooby-Doo characters. I want to see more of them. What is your favorite Scooby-Doo movie? Have you seen any Scooby-Doo's from this era of Scooby-Doo? And if so, which one is your favorite? I gotta give this movie based on my personal enjoyment and just how much I felt fulfilled watching this movie. 
plus all the cool arts. The art is pretty cool, but it's not like something super noteworthy, not gonna lie. I just think it's pretty well done. I like the art a lot, actually. I'm gonna make a note of that because that's more fair to the artist who did that. Patron the arts. I gotta give this movie like a solid 6.9 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. You can also like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone. You know, the ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer. So if I haven't reviewed it on a channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. Let your request a movie in the comments below. You can do that. You can fast track a movie review at patreon.com slash ASP presents. $20 a month for one movie review per one month. $3 a month. How to drop Pokemon tutorial post the early and first all at patreon.com slash ASP presents. And if you like to help support the daily grindiness of all these daily move reviews you can go to this link tree find the way that you can help support your daily grindiness for all these daily move reviews so you can go here and until next time it's out so i'll see you later my sacrifice big bits